Welcome back, everyone, for another episode of the Kenshi Let's Struggle. It's your boy, Cool Kid Croc, and before we start today, I do want to say, at the end of the video, there's going to be a short little message or update on stuff. Nothing bad or anything, just wanted to put that out there. Either way, let's get into the intro. Continuing the voyage back from the Fishman Islands, the group is stopped by multiple groups of beak things and attempts to stop them from getting back to the Hair Young Empire. Doesn't work though because they are too strong at this point. Beak things are almost just like the dust bandits to them. Over at Fort Harold, we needed a new construction project as everybody was fucking doing nothing. <laughs> so one of the mods I have adds in these animal cages, which are just for holding animals. So I found the XXL one, which is the biggest one we can get, and I obviously wanted to put that around the base I put it outside instead of inside because it takes up too much room but this is where we'll hold the giant beast that we want to tame today this cage alone is going to take a lot of work probably a full day's work for the entire hair young empire at fort Harold. but they're all very eager to help out and work out all they've done is drink and eat for the past few days so meanwhile crossing the bone fields Harold and the group would assemble upon multiple groups of skin spiders and more beak things but still would have no match on taking them down the cage was taken just about all day to construct like I had guessed, like I had guessed, but that was alright. It was looking pretty fine so far, and the amount of potential we have with this cage is fucking huge. <laughs> now, it wasn't until their fifth pack of beak things that, uh, things started to take a little bit of a toll on the group. People were starting to get knocked out, and we need to carry back our knocked out party members back to the base. But Harold and his group were able to make it back the very next day, and get everybody healed up and adjusted. Now, Harold had to go look at his throne room, as he had just seen this new building put up in Fort Harold. And when being told it is his throne room, he is in shock. The place looks fucking stunning, there's places to eat, and everybody's waiting to hear him talk. Harold doesn't sit on his throne though like a normal person, he sits on it fucking diagonally. But we'll just let him be himself. Going upstairs, he has a nice amount of different shit. Not really that impressive, but as far as anyone in the Kenshi universe, Harold is probably living at the best right now. Even better than Lord Phoenix with his nice royal double bed and shower. Being able to eat and socialize with everybody in the Hair Young Empire is just something that if there was a happiness need in Kenshi, it would definitely be at max right now. Harold also takes some time to talk to Imp Lord and explain to him that he's going to actually need him in his group. Harold loves the beast just as much as everyone else does and doesn't like to neglect him, but he can't just take Imp Lord everywhere or else Imp Lord will kill fucking everything. But for this battle, he will need Imp Lord at his side or else he might be at risk of dying along with others. Gathering the entirety of Fort Harold in the throne room, or at least most that didn't have to make food and such, Harold would begin to start his speech and talk to them. It has now been 130 plus days since Harold began building his empire from the ground up, just starting with himself, growing out to a few more skeletons of them people. Harold has met many different people and beasts along the way and has become friends and enemies with many of them. But the next way that Harold wants to impact the world is in a much different way. Kenshi's most dangerous beast, the Leviathan, or at least one of the most strong beasts in Kenshi, is the one that Harold wants to have his eyes on. Ever since day one, he's wanted to go Leviathan hunting and finally tame a Leviathan, and this would be the time to. He would not be taking any other humanoids, just all of the skeletons that he trusted that could come with him. They had a much lower chance of dying or losing any limbs or bleeding out from the battle, as well as bringing Imp Lord with them. They would have more than enough strength to take on this beast. And so the journey would begin. Everyone at Fort Harold would continue their efforts to keep up the base and keep things running as smooth as possible while Harold and his group would attempt to go into the Deadlands to search for one of these beasts. Even though the Leviathans are strong, Imp Lord stronger, hitting for 600s. So Harold was very confident in the fact that he could probably tame one of these Leviathans or at least get it down. Now in the Deadlands is where we normally find quite a few Leviathans. We found the Mechanoid Leviathan as well as normal Leviathans, but they are really big, but it's not like they're just everywhere, you know, they're kind of hard to find. Most of the time when I think I found one, I'll find a fucking iron ore node. So after about 20 minutes of searching in the Deadlands, I decided to just send the group over to Stobes Gamble. We weren't making much progress over there, and I know that there were probably some in Stobes Gamble. Heading through the Grey Desert and Venge 
back towards the way that we just walked through, basically. Harold and his group would make it into Stobes Gamble and start to search for a Leviathan there. Now, even in Stobes Gamble, we couldn't find a Leviathan, just more iron ore nodes for fuck's sakes. <laughs> so going into the gameplay settings, I just simply turned up the number of NPC squads that spawn in the game, the amount of groups that'll spawn, so now more enemies or more groups or amount of enemies should be spawning, and within like a matter of seconds, it worked right away. Harold and his group had found the Leviathan, and they could start to journey over to the beast and attempt to fight it. Now, the Silver and Hive were fighting it, and I decided just to let them do a little bit of damage to the Leviathan, and then Skeleton Bandits came as well, so we needed to take them out. On the bright side, the Leviathan was at least a little bit damaged, though. Now, I strategically positioned everybody around the Leviathan one by one, just to circle him, and then all at once unleashing an attack where they would all slowly swarm in and trap him, leaving him to not be able to hit more than one person at a time and they would all be able to hit him at once. They needed to do at least 6,000 damage to one of the main limbs, and while the Leviathan is hitting for 30s to 60s, we are doing lots of 90s, 80s, and 100 pluses. Watching Harrowd and his group fight their heart out against this Leviathan was probably one of the most intense battles I've had yet in Kenshi, but yet absolutely amazing to see how far we have come being able to swing these giant weapons that we had accumulated to attempt to take down one of Kenshi's most dangerous and giant beasts. Something like this hasn't been attempted since the taming of Imp Lord. And after a minute and a half of real life time of fighting, the group had taken down the Leviathan and he was knocked out. With that, they could go and first aid him as well as pick him up. Now, when picking him up, he does like a, he did a really funny little jiggle dance like, I think it was the best shit I've ever seen, made taming, made taking down the Leviathan 100% worth it, honestly. And with that, the group can now head back to Fort Harold in attempts to put this beast in the cage and tame him. It is pretty funny watching them walk with him, a little bit more crazy than Imp Lord. And over at Fort Harold, we are having a food problem. I really need to do an import, to be honest, and reset these fucking jobs because uh, people are starting to starve. I mean, everybody wants more recruits, but right now we're starving, so I'm putting recruits on hold for a moment. <laughs> but the next morning, luckily, the group would be able to make it back to Fort Harold, and there was the giant cage ready for the beast to be put in. Harold went up and put the Leviathan inside of the cage, and with that, he was in there. It just fucking felt amazing. Now, all Harold had to do was talk to the Leviathan and convince him to join us. But upon trying to talk to him, I guess because the cage is too big or the dimensions or something's fucked like it always has to be, it fucked up and we couldn't uh, recruit him. Just no matter what we click, lock, set free, whatever, didn't work. So I had to click the other set free option and actually get the Leviathan out of the cage and he was just walking around. This meant we had to of course fight him again and seeing as he had already healed up halfway this was basically another hell of a battle for the group. Now the entirety of Fort Harold came out because no one wanted to see Harold get injured anymore. He was already pretty close to dying. And they did take out the Leviathan, but many people in Fort Harold were knocked out. The skeletons would get the Leviathan under control though, while people of Fort Harold rescued and medic the other people. Now we put the Leviathan in one of the normal cages, and of course that works for fuck's sake. So that's when Endo fucking died. And not only him, Cool SS died a fucking second later. Literally, two of the earliest people that have been watching the series have been in the series. Both fucking died together due to the Leviathan attack. We had to finish attending to the Leviathan first though, so Harold went up and talked to the Leviathan and confidently asked the Leviathan to join the Hair Young Empire. To which the Leviathan, of course, agreed. Now, Harold would name the Leviathan to Lerald, and with that, Lerald has now joined the Hair Young Empire. Welcome, Lerald the Leviathan. But on a sadder note, we will be membering Endo and Cool for their efforts in the series with these tomes. This doesn't mean they're gone with us. I hope they'll still watch even though they're fucking dead. But this is something that Harold will remember for the rest of his life because he needed to tame a Leviathan. He lost two of the most important friends that he had to him, the ones that have been with him since the very beginning, and now all he could do was pick up their dead bodies and find a place to bury them. Did he make the right choice by getting a Leviathan to tame? Was it worth the sacrifice of not only two Hair Young Empire citizens, but friends? He'll have to figure that out with reflection, 
But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Kenshi Let's Struggle. Now, a quick little update I wanted to make was just sort of like, I will be taking somewhat of a break from making these Kenshi videos. And I do want to talk about it a little bit, but not make a whole separate video on it. I've been making a lot of Kenshi videos. I have like over 50 on my channel. And just Let's Struggle videos, I have almost 50 uh, Let's Struggle videos in total. I do want to say, like, thank you for everybody who supports this series and motivates me to keep on documenting the series and everything because it's one of my favorite games. There's just so much I love doing in it and showing off, and I'm very glad that there's a community of people who really appreciate that. Now, while I do feel like this for Kenshi, I feel like this for a lot of other games too. There's a lot of other stuff that I want to play, and honestly, with 400 hours in Kenshi, I'm never going to get around to playing more than a little bit of a game here and there, so I don't know if it'll be like a week or a month or a couple months. Months. like of course i'll come back to making kenshi videos i just want to focus my efforts on some other type of videos for the time being as well as maybe checking out the genesis or blood and sand pack i am thinking of just putting this series on hold and then coming back to it in a couple months and i know that may disappoint quite a few of you i just want you to know that i do promise i will be coming back with this series as long as the file doesn't corrupt the only person who can stop me from having a fucking blast in this game and showing you guys it is myself and for now it is going to be myself but i promise whenever i come back the videos will of course the normal let's struggle quality that you expect but i'll be putting my all into them for sure for the time being though make sure to check out some of my other content on the channel i do make lots of other videos on games and other things that i like so for the time being it's not really like i'm just taking a break from everything i'm just trying to work on other things so thank you for watching this episode of akenshi let's struggle feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below and i'll try to respond to everybody if i can have a good one though and peace